You know, stuff like this just outright makes me wish that there was some sort of age restriction on ho how old you have to be before you can be exposed to anything political, because you know for a fact the kids in this have no idea what is actually going on. Using your kids to push your political ideals has got to be one of the douchiest things you could ever do. Hello everybody, and welcome back to another video for the day. We're going back in the r slash I am a total POS because I swear we need either Yellowstone, the Thanos snap, I don't know, the human race needs a reboot. If you guys would like to be absolutely amazing show your support and see more videos like this one in the near future be sure to hit that like button leave a comment down below to start up them wholesome internet discussions let me know what your favorite sweet treat is like cookies and shit and if you have not already subscribe to the channel and turn on them notifications girl is hurt after stepping on a board of nails buried in a sandy ontario parking lot a wooden board with nails was found in the parking lot of this beach where it injured these two people's young daughter after she stepped on it on October 23rd, 2022. I don't know if it's the worst part about it, but it's certainly up there. The fact that the sicko that actually planted this is probably getting a rise out of this. And I really don't think I'll ever understand anybody where they think that, oh yeah, hey, I have absolutely nothing to do. I don't like watching any TV shows, I don't like playing any video games, and I don't like reading any books. Oh yeah, let's put a wooden spike board in a beach and watch people puncture their feet. If this dude is caught and they're put in prison, you can almost guarantee that they're going to get beat up in prison, because I, I know this isn't as worse as doing stuff to kids in that sense that actually is the bottom of the totem pole in prison, but it's pretty darn near close, because you're just being an absolute sicko. Oh yes, an adult pancake tortoise. Actually a little cute guy, but here's the kicker. Would you like to keep your tortoise hydrated during shipping? Why is that even an option? Your choices are no thanks, one hydration pack for 98 cents or two hydration packs for a buck and a half. So basically, if you want your animal to be hydrated, you have to pay extra for it. But wait, there's more. Would you like your tortoise to not have been fed crap food? You can either choose half a pound for five bucks or a pound of tortoise food. If you're getting an animal shipped, um, usually food wouldn't be an option because most of the time it's an overnight really fast shipping for live animals. But I feel like if they're asking this, is very much not the case. And the last option being keep your tortoise warm during the flight to you. Y yeah, you have to pay four bucks to make sure that they're definitely warm on the flight. Last I checked, planes don't exactly have insulation or heating. So bottom line, if you would like to order a tortoise and also have the ability for it to show up to you not dead, it costs an extra, let me do the math one second, it costs an extra ten and a half to fifteen dollars for all that stuff. You know, because, or if you want to save fifteen dollars, the only trade-off is you get a dead tortoise. Yeah, no, it, it's great. For anybody that doesn't know already, I actually have a snake that I ordered from Breeder. They did a wonderful job. They contacted me before they shipped her out to schedule when I would be able to pick her up the next day and they shipped her out immediately and she showed up the next day like they do the fastest shipping possible and when I had gotten her yeah they didn't exactly throw in a water bowl or anything because the stuff gets moved around during shipping and all but they at least made sure that there was some sort of heating package like one of those like you crack it and it starts heating up elements kind of stuff to it that lasts a couple of days and that's I feel was like the, the general basis for what people should do when they're transporting animals and everything. But for a place to say, oh yeah, hey, we'll do that, um, but you have to pay an extra 10 to $15 for that in order to happen is just, it's scummy. And if they're doing all the food and water stuff, it very much has me thinking that they don't go with the overnight shipping. And I wouldn't be surprised if they actually say, oh yeah, we can do the overnight shipping for an extra 25 to $30. Just watch, if they're charging for the bare necessities, then I, I can absolutely guarantee you they would do something like that. Okay, so I can't really say what the actually the store is, but dispensary is about the most a YouTube appropriate name for it that I can call it, um, but if you're going to have a sign out front that advertises your business, it helps to actually have the business graphic, and because without it, you just come off as that douchebag in the truck that doesn't turn off his light bar. Thank you very much for keeping people awake at, you know, 2 to 3 a.m. Be worried about sneakers when she really needs a freaking store. Uh, ma'am, ma'am, ma'am. Okay, this one, this one just straight up scares me, because now I'm going to be anxious unless I get the absolute backseat of the plane. Like, put me in the back so I don't have to worry about any feet sneakers up behind me because I, I swear to God, I, I will definitely cause anything. I will cause something to happen at 30,000 feet. Do not test me. I will go Delta flight on you. Only thing I could really think of that I could do is maybe take the little vent that shoots the air down towards me and like put it all the way back so it pushes the person's foot stink back on themselves. And if they have a problem with my air vent, I'm just going to be right blunt there. It really does suck that when you're in a 
metal tube multiple thousands of feet up in the air, um, people will still be absolutely ignorant like this, and I, I hate everybody that does this kind of stuff, because I don't know their logic, and I really don't think that anything is up there. I'm fairly certain just all the brain cells said, hey, okay, let's go on strike. When did you realize your parents were bad at parenting. When I was six, my mom was making me pee in a cup once a month for school, and then one day my mom asked me again while I was playing with my older brother. I got up, but my brother grabbed my shirt to stop me, and without looking up from our game, he said, she's using you to pass her substance test. Sit down. Yeah, I can tell you for a fact, uh, when somebody asks for you to help them pass that kind of test, is they, they, there's not no reason behind it. That is very much an ask them why kind of thing, and you can just guarantee they're going to say something stupid like, oh, no reason. Uh, yeah, no, we're going to have a reason, and this is going to be very weird. It wasn't a family member that asked me. It was an ex's family friend, uh, and uh, still, that was weird. I'm like, I don't know how well I know you. I could have known you all my life. Please do not ask anybody that you know to do that for you. Uh, it's never, never not gonna come out weird. There is nothing that will ever catch you off guard more guaranteed or more times than a person that is not in the doctor's office asking you to pee in a cup for him. Officer accused of giving a homeless man a feces sandwich wins appeal. I know I'm not the only one wondering how the heck he did this. Not just how he was able to win his appeal and everything, but like how he came up with the idea and had the audacity to do this to a homeless person. Selling out our son's birthday presents. We are selling all of the toys our nine-year-old just received for his birthday three weeks ago. He's been acting out lately and saying that he doesn't believe our religion and wants to be a scientist. We are fine with him wanting to learn, but he should learn about God. We can't tolerate him questioning and back-talking, so we are going to sell everything. Just so you know, we are going to make him watch this happen so the lesson really sinks in, and the money will go to sending him to Bible camp this month. Y'all must be the same parents that give your kids a hammer and tell them to crush their own game console, right? The agony of being a 50-50 mum. Women once held the upper hand in custody battles, and now fathers are winning equal access, and mothers are struggling to cope. This person, 42, an office manager, from this place faces the trauma of being without her children, these kid, and this other kid every weekend. This other person, a 33-year-old bar worker from this place, a week on, a week off, shared arrangement for her two daughters. Mothers are having to divide time with their children equally with their exes. Every mother lives for those small joyful moments when her child masters something new, a book once too challenging, the telling of a joke previously stumbled over, a food devoured that had formerly been rejected. For for it's in the gentle mitual of a little one's life that you really see their budding and personality grow. Imagine, then, the agonizing pain of being privy to your child's life for only half of the time. The milestones missed, the lost cuddles before bedtime, the lost nights spent wondering if they are sleeping sweetly or crying out for mummy. You know, as much as I wanted to think that this was a satire post like what The Onion posts, um, Daily Mail don't roll that way. I'm pregnant, but my husband doesn't know that he is not the dad. What do I do? Anybody else want to put money on the fact that she probably won't accept the answer of tell him. Nothing wrong in that as few people said, it is your body and it is completely your wish whom you to touch your body. Being your husband, he will have the responsibility to take care of your child, even if he is aware that he is not the dad. Nobody can question you and the law is there to support you. First of all, as a precaution, frame some false case against your husband so that if he plans to move legally, you can counter it with this. Physical torture, mental torture, dowry harassment, and there are many more ways you can lock him from his activities. Contact any female lawyer and make sure that she is a feminist so that she can help you more sincerely. If he acts more smart, then go for a divorce and claim good alimony and maintenance so that he can't marry again with his financial capability. You can live happily with your child and your lover, or you can just live with your child. Being a feminist, I wish you all success for your fight against the men. Let me get this straight. You cheated on your husband. You don't want to tell him that you cheated. You got pregnant, and you don't want him to know. But yet, 
he is the issue. Did I read that right or did I misunderstand something here? Plus also, way to go for one of your answers, not only just the first answer being, come up with some sort of false claim. If I stop streaming for the simps, he teaches me a lesson, person cosplaying as Amaranth after the whole situation. 2022, the year of cosplaying as, yeah, I can't say that word, women. Yeah, you know, dressing up as hurt women and apparently also serial killers. Yeah, no, that, that totally is fine and all. Please never dress up your kids as Jeffrey Dahmer. I swear to God, there have been so many pictures going on online and I absolutely detest anybody that thinks that way is good. But with that less wonderful example as to why the human race needs a hard reboot, that's gonna have to be it with the video. If you guys would love to be absolutely amazing, show your support and see more videos like this one in the near future, be sure to hit that like button leave a comment down below to start up the wholesome internet discussions and if you have not already subscribe to the channel and turn on them notifications i'll be sure to see you guys in the next one thank you so much for watching and bye bye